Hello, this is Dungeon Dogs, and today we're doing Loot to Godly. So, I'm going to sell the sword I'm not using. That, uh, you know, you start with a sword, yeah. And I sell my beginner sword, my Blonde's Dagger, which has six physical damage. And I'm gonna upgrade my wand. So, if you guys want more Loot to Godly, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you want to, and let's go. So I'm going to upgrade that. Oh, that's annoying. I don't have enough gold to upgrade it twice. So, yeah. Let's equip that sword. The wand. Not a sword. It's a wand. But I'm going to call it sword probably. Create, uh, let's create Desert Temple easy. I could probably do easy hardcore, but it would be quite a risk. So, yeah. I don't like the loading time, but it takes so long for the levels to load. <laughs> it really makes it less efficient farming stuff. Right. Five, four, three, two. Oh, by the way, I'm on an old Dungeon Dogs account. <laughs> I finally did it. Go! Let's taunt the enemies into groups and shoot them with fireballs. <laughs> Fun fact, Taunt doesn't actually need to be used, it doesn't do any damage or anything. It's just for multiplayer, where you can use Taunt to, what's the word, to make all the enemies only attack you, which is useful for like tanks. And then all the mages and warriors can do damage, and the healers can heal. Hopefully no enemies catch me now, so now we're grouping enemies again. Yeah, let's group our enemies. I hope we don't get hit. Come on, we can't get hit. We're better than that. Okay, we got hit. <laughs> Twice. That's sad. So there's a trick in this room. You can just shoot through the wall and kill the enemies. Which is pretty neat, because it means you can't take any damage. When you use your fist to finish them off. Right, let's go. At least you haven't been hit yet. Ah, no! Are you kidding? We actually got hit. That's so annoying. I think there's probably some sort of myth that if you don't take any damage, you get a legendary or something, but I don't think it's true. Right. Yeah, we've almost leveled up. Come on. As long as we can level up, we get heals. Because obviously you get he healed by leveling up. You get full health actually from leveling up. So if we can get one more level up. I mean our first level up. Then. Then we can get our health. Oh through the wall again. Try to get to Winter Outpost quickly. As it does temple is very repetitive. Because yeah. You'll get bored if you stay in the temple too long. That's why I'm trying to go as quickly as possible. And do hardcore and all that as quickly as possible. I just didn't go hardcore first try because I don't want to lose on the first ever dungeon on the new account. So yeah. We leveled up. So you know how I upgraded spell power? I recommend upgrading stamina for a guardian class. But if you're a mage, definitely upgrade spell power because it's easier and increases your damage is a really important thing so i'm pretty sure uh, we should get to a boss pretty soon by the way it's okay if we die because we're all noobs or if you're not a noob watching this then my question is why are there people who aren't noobs watching a video for level ones which is a weird thing to think about Yeah, we should get to a boss pretty soon. It's a pretty fun game, though. Especially at the start. So yeah, comment for more Noob to Godly and... Right, last... Oh, I hate it when there's one enemy that you have to kill. It's so annoying. Right, boss. So for a boss, we just need to circle around it and shoot, 
and dodge, but make sure not to circle too close to him or he actually will hit you. So yeah, you see how when he does that, that can do I think 15 damage to you, which is bad. Right, let's kill him. As I said before, Taunt does nothing, so it will be good to get rid of Taunt as soon as possible and replace it with another Fireball for double damage. After this, I think we'll get our daily reward, which is the blue circle to the right of your spawn. When you spawn in, if you turn right, you should see a blue circle with daily reward on it. And we've almost got the enemy. I mean, boss. <laughs> But it is an enemy. And it's almost dead. Right. Are you kidding? We got a sword. And we're a mage, so let's use this. Oh, by the way, if you sell both your weapons, you can grind gold easily. Because whenever you join a dungeon, it gives you a new set of sort tools. Weapons. Beginner weapons. So, yeah. If you have no weapons equipped, I think it is. Or something like that, you can just farm the beginner weapons. Right, I'm gonna get my daily. You see this? This is the lady reward. And I got two swords. Are you kidding? That's so unlucky. I guess we can sell the, all three of these swords now then. For gold. And we leveled up. Uh, I'm not sure how many times, but we leveled up, I think, at least twice, possibly. For the boss. So yeah, boss is quite efficient leveling up resources. I'm going to try easy hardcore now, which means if I die, I lose. Well, that's what hardcore means, not easy hardcore, but yeah. Fun fact while it's loading. If you stay far away from the mobs, you can shoot without being hit, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you something cool in the spawn now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, if you... Sorry, I didn't mean to start this. But if you go back here and round this... Big wall. You see, there's a crack in the wall. There's an Excalibur egg from the Excalibur quest, but it doesn't really matter because it's only giving. It only gives a what's it called? A cosmetic sword, which you can show off to people, but it doesn't actually give you any damage. So yeah, there's one of them in all the levels, so you literally have to get up to like level 150 now to at this time of recording that's going to be wrong when the next dungeons come out but for that at this time you have to get up to level 150 if you want to get all of the what's it called uh to get the excalibur i think i'm not sure i'm not sure if i'm going to keep updating the quest because if it if they do that'll be annoying because it will mean that the low levels will have to keep getting higher and higher So yeah, we're going to use the same tactic of circling and shooting while staying far away. It seems to work, by the way, because we're not dying, so yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, when we get to a boss, we need to be really careful, because we can't level up at the boss. And it does about 15 damage per hit, so... That's like, uh, I can't bother to work it out. A lot of hits, not that many hits, and you're dead. And there's no heals. Because obviously it doesn't give you a XP per hit, it only gives you XP when it's destroyed, which is annoying. But yeah, that's all what the boss is. So at le the levels go up incrementally. So, when you get to Pirate Island, there's only Insane and Nightmare, so it's going to be quite hard. I think I'll do some of the leveling up off camera, by the way, after I defeat Desert Temples, a lot of the Desert Temple stuff and all the Winter Outpost, because then it's just grinding for hours and no one wants to see grinding, so I'll grind with my ult. Right, let's upgrade Spell Power. Yep, there's one enemy. I mean three, I think, in this case, but oh, I hate it. Come on, we can get to a boss soon. 
Wow, how many rooms? I think in medium there's more rooms before a boss. Just because that's the way. In medium though, we're not on medium yet. I'm not looking forward to medium because that's going to take even longer. At least we're almost instant hitting these now. I mean one shotting. I think this is probably going to be our last room before a boss. But I said that like five times. <laughs> so it probably isn't. Right, let's get this last group without the circling technique. And we can shoot through the wall here. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's shoot through the wall. Why not? It's easy. Wait, that's not. To be honest, if you go up that far, you might as well just carry on. Because the enemies don't actually stay where we are. Ah, oh, boss. So this time we need to be a bit more careful because it does a lot more damage. So exactly the same. Circle it to avoid its attack and shoot but stay back a bit further so it can't punch us at all because we've already lost a bit of our health as well so that's bad so yeah this might be a minute or two of boss killing that's 275 health which is quite a lot wow six minutes left that's a pretty good time i don't think i ever got this good time on my on my good account but that's probably because I wasn't very good on the other account. I think I tried Warrior. I tried Warrior and then gave up because it was too hard at level 60. And then I did my mage account got to level 112 and now I've sort of given up because it's annoying to do ghastly. But I think I might carry on because of this channel. Yay, we beat it. Yes! Fireball, which is OP. And an OP mage chat, which is rarity of epic. Which is, oh, so OP. Wait, is it epic or rare? Yeah, it's epic. Which is so good, because that's the best one you can get with, on armor. It'd be nice if we can get the Desert Fury, which is the legendary from Nightmare. So, yeah, now we have a Fireball, which means we can sell our taunts, which I'm definitely going to do. And then, obviously, we can sell these swords for $900. And I'm gonna sell taunts. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff though, and it's gonna give me more health. I don't know why I didn't sell taunt yet. <laughs> right, let's upgrade the start one finally. And let's upgrade the blue wizard hat. The best one we could get, yes. 10 spell power and 52 health, that's pretty good. Right, let's carry on. Got that, got that, replace that with Fireball, yes, the power, and now we can do medium because we're level 6, which is pretty cool. In the next episode I'll probably grind a bit on my own and then come back once I'm ready to do hard, and then, yeah, then we might be able to finish Desert Temple entirely by episode 2 which would be good which means we can move on to interesting maps which we can finish quicker because I can have effective carries from my good account right so let's click start and let's go yeah I'm gonna go straight on to me I only went on to medium hardcore because I think if we circle for enemies who will be able to survive with no damage taken. As you can see, now the enemies have 80 health and do more damage. I'm not sure how much, because I haven't been hit yet, but probably a lot more. <laughs> soon, as soon as we level up, we should be able to instant kill these, I think. As in if I upgraded spell, of course. One enemy, why? <laughs> Yeah, them, I'm pretty sure there's more rooms in this, but they might be quicker, who knows. It's all down to luck, which rooms are generated, if we get the quick ones or the slow ones. Because obviously the maze rooms are a lot slower than the, the straight rooms that you just run through. it would be a lot easier, by the way. If you're dying a lot, just try and get a team of other noobs to join you, and then it should be easier. Because... Strength in numbers in this game. The enemies will get stronger the more, or at least the boss will get stronger if you have more players, though. 
because otherwise it would just be ridiculously easy when you had a ton of players. <laughs> Soon we might be able to one shot these enemies. I wonder how much health a boss will have. I assume we're near the boss. Right, let's circle these enemies and win. Come on, come on, we can do it. I like the fact that we're instant shotting a lot of them now. It's nice. Come on, it must be boss time soon. And by the way, this is going to be quicker than last time, because last time I went to the Excalibur Egg for some reason before starting. <laughs> I mean, after starting. You're supposed to do it before you click the start button, by the way. Oh, by the way, it doesn't count down time until after you click the start button. So it should be fine, as long as you don't click it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Must be a boss after this. I think we're almost there. Oh my gosh. Does the boss even exist in this? <laughs> We're so far away. I wonder how much health it's gonna have. Wow, level eight. Seven spell power, and these are all one-shotted, hopefully. If any of you survive, I'll be annoyed. Ooh, wow, 600 he health. That's a lot. This is our first time on medium, so we should probably be careful. And yeah, exactly the same as last time, just except no taunting, which means you do double damage. 2 times 8 is 160, so not going to take very long to kill it. Come on, die, die, die. Yeah, there we go, we won. Wow, we got armor, which I'm going to wear. Even though it's warrior armor, I'm going to wear it. Because I can upgrade it in spell and get 6 spell power out of it. And it's worth it for health. And I'll be able to sell it when I get some mage armor. That's pretty good though, we got armor. And obviously I can sell the sword so I have enough gold to upgrade the armor. So yeah, we're rich, hopefully. I don't know how much money we're gonna get. I hope we get a lot. Right. Let's go. I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. And... See you in the next one, but yeah, not yet. I'll give you a warning when it's almost the end. So, uh, yeah, let's sell the sword. Let's see the armor. Right, let's upgrade the armor four times in spell. Right, guys, the video's ending in 10 seconds, so you might, this is the time you might want to pause and get ready to finish. See you later.